Welcome back, mates. If you are new here, my name is John, and I am the member of academic department at Tay Hub. This is our DT practice time that we share questions for you to practice every week. Like yes, every week we have done so far like seven weeks. So if any week that we cannot deliver, we surely inform you via emails, newsletters, or in our communities. No worry about it. And this week we focus on listen and speak questions. It means like we r e going to share with you ten listen and speak questions in the DT Duolingo. Sorry, on our DT p r a c t i c e platform. You know the platform offers you thousands of questions, including all question types, especially for instant feedback. Like after completing all the questions, you shall have feedback and you know what you did. You know, wrong or what you did right about this, especially especially for uh, open response questions like speaking and reading. It means that you know we we evaluate your skills by on several grading elements that the Duolingo test also evaluates your skills. Some examples like fluency, lexical sophistication, lexical diversity. Mm, grammatical accuracy and acoustic features. So now, let me try one question first and see how the platform evaluates my skills, and then I leave the rest nine questions for you to practice. Shall we go? Hello, fans. Welcome to our DT p o d c a s t platform website. Here I am. I will choose one listen and speak question. Okay, and of course, you you know that you can pick any question type to practice as you like because we have every every one of them. Besides that, we have also divided them into three different levels: one, two, and three. And of course, level three is the more challenging one. Let's go for level three. Uh, listen, then speak. Sorry, right. And yes, here we are. You can pick any question you like, and this help you to. Track, you know, track what you have been practicing so far. So it means another day you come back, you don't practice the same questions again. I will go with question five. This is my my lucky number. Should your government impose laws for water usage restrictions? Explain your reasoning. Water sources usage restriction. Should the government Should your government impose laws for water usage restrictions? Explain your reasoning. As far as I am concerned, I strongly believe and suggest the government should impose laws for water usage restriction for a number of critical points. First and foremost. The world is constantly changing, and people are too busy with their work. Therefore, sometimes they don't pay attention to, you know, using water resources at home. In other words, a lot of families they waste an enormous amount of water every single day because they just are too busy at work. They hurry to do something else and. Once they go to take a shower or do wash the dishes, they sometimes forgot to turn 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 it it off. Additionally, I was born and raised in the Mekong Delta, my lovely country, Vietnam. Therefore, I know the pain of every single farmer face faces nowadays, including severe drought in the Mekong rivers. So it means that. Here we come to lack of water, fresh and safe water resources, and it is affecting our health as well as food access to food. All in all, I utterly reckon the government should impose laws, just like some penalties, in order to manage water resources. It is really kind of tired, tired when you speak for one minute and thirty second in a row. Especially in the Duolingo in the test, we have to answer like you know five speaking questions totally: one read then speak, two listen then speak, one speaking sample, and and one speak about a photo. 
regarding this type of question, when you listen to a question, we yes, of course, our first step is to pay attention to the keywords in the question. For example, this one we have water resources, water usage restriction under government law impose 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 means that you make a law and people follow i divided my speaking answer into three three different parts first one opening that you know i i told you guys i agree with the statement with the idea and the body part the body part that i shared two critical points the first reason why the government should impose law and the second reason why the government should impose another law for, for another reason and of course the last part the last part that i share i paraphrase my idea once last time before ending my speech and in this this is the feedback that you get in the dt protest platform t hub and as you see right here that you know fluency fluency we have uh, like the time that you speak okay this is 50 because it doesn't count on a total time that you used but the actual time that you spoke not including the pauses lexical sophistication show you the level of words you used we have speaking about this you know for lots of time lexical diversity it shows you like the words you repeat time after time so you know that you should not do that too often for example they i use it five times and this is not good Chromatical accuracy, you know, for some spelling. Spelling actually not it is about your pronunciation. And grammar, when you use something wrong, it show you here. And this is for the acoustic features. Remember that the red word is mean that you pronounce not good yet. The orange yellow one is shows you the average scores of your pronunciation and you can check everything in detail here for example uh, let's check uh, let's see let's see which one therefore okay this is two syllable and we know that the the four this one i pronounce not really correct so i just got 73 out of 100 so based on this you know what words you need to improve to improve your pronunciation in order to increase your scores all right and do not forget to check our sample answer you can move your pointer to highlighted words and check the meaning okay so here's i end my part let's get back you know to your positive talk right it is now your time to try the rest nine questions and let me know if you need more this question type describe a new skill you have learned recently and you think it was important describe a new skill you have learned recently and you think it was important Describe a new skill you have learned recently and you think it was important.
Describe a school subject you love learning right now but didn't like before. Describe a school subject you love learning right now but didn't like before. Describe a school subject you love learning right now but didn't like before. Describe the most memorable moment you had with your family. Describe the most memorable moment you had with your family. Describe the most memorable moment you had with your family. What was the project that you did at school and why did you do it? What was the project that you did at school and why did you do it? What was the project that you did at school and why did you do it?
What were you passionate about that you lost your interest? What were you passionate about that you lost your interest? What were you passionate about that you lost your interest? Describe some of eating customs in your country. Is it important to eat with your family? Describe some of eating customs in your country. Is it important to eat with your family? Describe some of eating customs in your country. Is it important to eat with your family? Describe a situation in which you have given or received praise. How did you feel about it? Describe a situation in which you have given or received praise. How did you feel about it? Describe a situation in which you have given or received praise. How did you feel about it?
Describe a perception that the government in your country gives to foreign people. Describe a perception that the government in your country gives to foreign people. Describe a perception that the government in your country gives to foreign people. More and more people have problems from insomnia. What healthy issues associated with it? More and more people have problems from insomnia. What healthy issues associated with it? Hi, thanks very much for practicing until the very end. I truly appreciate this. And yes, I uh, wish you the best of luck. If you need more questions, like any questions, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. We are here to make more questions for, for, for your preparation. And, you know, click the subscribe button or like our videos. It's, it's free, you know, just uh, click it and wait for more, more videos. See you in next videos.